Hey and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's begin with our daily news. Eric Ten Hag issues a new challenge to Marcus Rashford after reaching 30 goal milestone. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag believes Marcus Rashford can score 40 goals in one season. Speaking in the press conference ahead of the last Premier League game of the season against Fulham, Ten Hag lauded Rashford for reaching the 30 goal milestone. He said via manunited.com, With Marcus, there is a lot of room for improvement in his game, and I am convinced he could score even more. I think when you take, for instance, the last 10 games, he didn't score so many goals. I think only two or three. He can improve, but I am happy. Where he was last season and what he did now, and that he brings himself back. We supported him where we could with the way we play but also in his mental mindset, so we are happy with that. But yeah, we have to push for more, and I am sure he is capable to score 40 goals in a season and to also make, for him, the next step. There were huge question marks over Rashford's United future before Ten Hag arrived at Old Trafford. The England international was possibly at the nadir of his career after scoring merely five times last season. He looked like a player with no confidence in his abilities to take on defenders and dribble past them. Ten Hag has brought the best out of him. No one could have imagined the turnaround which Rashford has seen this season. His latest goal against Chelsea made him the first United player since Robin van Persie to score 30 goals in a single season. He has been the driving force behind Ten Hag's successful debut season in England. If not for him, the Red Devils would have struggled to find the back of the net without a recognized number 9. The onus is on Rashford now to show the same consistency next season. His stocks are on the rise and could break the roof if he can achieve the 40-goal target set by his manager. Victor Lindelof's form ensures Harry Maguire leaves Manchester United this summer. Manchester United captain Harry Maguire should move on from Old Trafford this summer after starting just seven Premier League games this campaign. Victor Lindelof has played a crucial role in the last couple of months, ensuring that United secure the Champions League spot for next season. Injuries to Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez and Liverpool's late winning run raised concerns that the Red Devils could miss out on a top four finish. Eric Ten Hag utilized Lindelof and Lepshaw at the heart of the defense, a pair that not many would have thought at the start of the season. Even when Maguire returned to fitness, Ten Hag did not deviate from the duo. On the other hand, Varane was straight away drafted to the starting eleven as soon as he was declared match fit. This showed that the Dutchman does not rate Maguire worthy of being a regular starter for United. Lindelof has displayed in recent weeks that he is a dependable player who can do a bit of everything. He is comfortable with the ball at his feet and would beat Maguire in a foot race every day. When Maguire moved to Old Trafford, he was considered someone who could make driving runs forward and create pressure on the opposition. He has hardly shown that to the United supporters, maybe because the last two seasons have put a massive dent in his confidence. Lindelof was viewed as United's fourth-choice centre-back, but the England international has taken that spot now. The Swedish defender has some flaws, but is a resilient character and a valuable squad player. The writing is on the wall. Maguire's stay at the Theatre of Dreams has reached its final chapter. Alejandro Garnacho gets the Argentina call-up he's been the separate for. As the club season comes to an end, Argentina have named the squad for their next round of friendly games in June. Amongst the names is Manchester United's 18-year-old Alejandro Garnacho. A dream come true for the young forward, who will no doubt relish the opportunity to represent his country. He has been on the brink of a call-up for a while. Most notably, his injury in March likely cost him his first call-up. A senior call-up for Garnacho might almost make missing the Under-20 World Cup worth it for him. Having recently signed a new five-year deal at the club, it's encouraging to see the world champions take note of his performances.
It takes a truly special talent to break into the world champions squad at the age of 18. Garnacho is it just that, after impeccable performances across his debut season, five goals and four assists in all competitions, is a truly wonderful output. These numbers are made even more remarkable by the fact he has averaged a goal contribution every 123 minutes. He has shown his talent against the league's best two with an assist against City. The next step for the winger is to kick on next season and force himself into the starting eleven. Garnacho is extremely deserving of this call-up and it's without a doubt the first of many. A wonderful end to a great season from Garnacho. He has truly established himself as the player to watch next season. Man United boss Eric Ten Hag confirms he would like a new striker this summer. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that he would like to sign a new striker during this summer's transfer window. The Red Devils have made superb progress in the Dutchman's first season in a charge, and they are guaranteed to play in the Champions League next term. Marcus Rashford has been pivotal up front with 30 goals in all competitions, but behind him, only Bruno Fernandes has netted more than 10 goals this season, 12. Hence, United need to improve on this aspect during the 23-24 campaign. Anton Hag has welcomed the possibility of landing a new center forward, he told ManUnited.com. We need across the squad more scoring abilities, and you can't be dependent on one, but it can also come out of this squad, but we need more scoring abilities. United have had different goal scorers over the past couple of months, but the players have also been guilty of squandering several clear-cut scoring opportunities. It's quite clear that the club needs a marquee striker ahead of next season. Martial has been largely injury-prone, and the Frenchman can no longer be relied on to lead the attack. Rashford has played up front in several games this season, but the club graduate is most comfortable from the left wing where he has room to cut inside and shoot on goal. As things stand, Tottenham Hotspur's Harry Kane appears the priority striker target for the manager, but United could face a stiff competition from Real Madrid for his services. If a deal for Kane does not materialize, United could consider Randall Colomouani and Gonzalo Ramos as alternatives. Napoli's Victor Osiman is reportedly too expansive for them. Man United have been watching Gonzalo Inazio for a long time, could make summer bid. Manchester United scouts were monitoring Gonzalo Inazio during Sporting Lisbon's 2-1 win over Vizela on a Friday night, according to Ojogo. The 21-year-old is regarded as one of the best young centre-backs in European football, and he has been regularly linked with a move to Old Trafford. It's now claimed by Ojogo that United have been watching the Portuguese for a long time, and they were keeping tabs on him against Viesla. Inazio bagged the equaliser in the victory on the road, and it's reported that United could lodge an approach for his services during the summer. United currently have Kim min Jay as their top priority to bolster the central defensive department. The South Korean has reportedly given the green light for a summer transfer. He could come in as a replacement for Harry Maguire ahead of next season. In our opinion, it seems unlikely that United will consider a move for Inazio, but the situation could change if Victor Lindelof pushes for a move elsewhere. Lindelof has seen a plenty of game time in recent months amid injuries to Varane and Martinez, but could become a regular on the bench next term. If the Swedi were to push for the exit door, United could bring in Inazio. The left-footed star could be seen as Martinez's deputy for the left centre-back role. Inazio has completed 90% of his passes this term with an average of 1.2 tackles, 1.4 interceptions and 1.9 clearances. He has won nearly four duels per outing. The Portuguese would be a quality acquisition with his strong ball playing ability, but he may not be a priority for United unless they sell a second centre back. Inazio currently has a release clause worth 45 million euros in his contract. Kim Minije will join Man United in cash deal only. Red Devils set to trigger. £52 million release clause. 
نابولي ديفاندر كم من الجاي ولا جوين مانشستر يونايتد ان ستريت كاش ديل ذا سمر اكوردنج تو ايطاليان بابليكيشن الماتينو ديرا دافلز هاف هاد ا لونج تيرم انترست ان ذا ساوث كوريا انترناشونال اند دي وير انيشلي انتريستد ان سايننج هيم فروم ذا تشاينيز ليج اتس ناو ريبورتد ذات ذا سانتر باك ويل بي اون هيز واي تو اولد ترافورد ذا سمر ذا ديل ويل اونلي انكلود كاش اند نو بلايرز ويل بي انكلودد نابولي بريزيدنت اوريليو دي لورنتس has made it crystal clear that Mina J won't leave unless his release clause is paid in one single payment. United presently have Rafael Varane and Lisandro Martinez as the first choice central defenders. However, manager Eric Ten Hag may want more quality. The Dutchman has had the luxury of rotating players in the Europa League but won't be able to do so in the Champions League. With better opposition, the extra workload could lead to fatigue and more injury concerns, with Varane being injury-prone throughout his career. The Red Devils boss may want a solid replacement ahead of next season. Victor Lindelof has fared impressively over the past few weeks, but Mina J would be a solid upgrade on the sweaty with his better ball-playing ability, positioning and strong presence in the box. In his debut Serie A campaign, the South Korean has completed 73 passes per game while registering 1.6 tackles and 3.6 clearances. The 26-year-old has won nearly five duels per appearance. In our view, Mini J would be a statement signing for United. It appears he has made his mind to move to Old Trafford, but United will have to wait until July 1 to trigger his buyout clause. Major star could set record if he signs for Manchester United, says Rio Ferdinand. Manchester United are in the market for a world-class number nine this summer, with both Harry Kane and Victor Osiman linked. Manchester United legend Rio Ferdinand has gave his preference on which number nine he wants. The retired defender has spoken highly of Harry Kane, suggesting he is the better option. Speaking on his YouTube channel 5, Ferdinand said, they can get blood, sweat, tears, goals and record out of Kane. He continued it. Let the guy do what he needs to do now, man. Let the guy compete for Champions League and League Championships and Cup competitions. He concluded by insisting Kane would have no problems scoring goals at Old Trafford, he said. Kane guarantees you 25 goals a season. There is no doubt he would get that. The other name mentioned was Napoli's eagle, Victor Osiman. However, despite his impressive goal record in Serie A, Ferdinand isn't sure about the Nigerian. He said, He is 24 years old, scored goals in France and Italy, won the league in Italy, and knows how to win leagues. He's been a number nine at a dominant team. Is that transferable to the Premier League? No one knows that. That's the chance United would have to take on him. Ferdinand admitted his only concern over Osiman is the question of his transition to the Premier League. Both are truly world-class strikers and we are sure United would reap the benefit from either should they come. Journalist Hans Arsenal and Man United could turn to £45 million star as Mason Mount a transfer alternative. Arsenal and Manchester United are reportedly among the clubs aware of James Madison's situation this summer, even if he is not currently a top target for either of them. The England international makes sense as someone who could be on the move this summer after a difficult season at Leicester City, who might well end up getting relegated to the championship at the end of the final round of Premier League fixture later today. Madison has shown for the Foxes but hasn't quite been able to do enough to help steer them away from the relegation zone. And one imagine, he will surely be keen on a big move, even if his current club do manage to stay up. According to Ben Jacobs in Twitter, Arsenal and Man United are among potential suitors for Madison, with the journalist explaining that clubs could turn to him if they fail to sign Mason Mount from Chelsea. Madison and Mount are similar players and both seem to be facing uncertain futures, and a lot of interest ahead of the summer, with Mount recently linked with both United and Arsenal by the mail. Mount perhaps makes sense as a priority for these clubs due to his experience of playing in big games in the Champions League, whilst also having more England caps 
but Madison is a fine talent as well and could be available on the cheap this summer. Jacobs adds later in his thread that although Leicester have value with the 26-year-old at around £60 million, there is the sense that that could go down to around £45 million, especially if they do get relegated today. I will be uploading daily Manchester United news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.